a freely falling object subject to a linear drag caused by air resistance. And when I say a linear drag, what does that mean? Drag is a function of BV. Or drag is proportional to X dot. Actually, let's call it Y dot, then everybody will get not confused. How would you set this up? And consider that you are on sitting on the object that's falling. So if this is your object that's falling, drag is upwards, mg is downwards, and this object is accelerating. So your T will be one half m y dot squared and your V will be minus MGH. Where H is the distance, be very careful, H is the distance that this falls, not the distance that this is coming up, okay? This is the distance that it's falling. So as H becomes larger, potential becomes smaller. Do you understand the difference? So we are not comparing this H with respect to ground up. We're comparing this as the ball falls. We're sitting on the ball falling. Right. So remember, which, which one of the Lagrangian equations should you use? Euler Lagrange, the first or the second? Good. So what will your Lagrangian look like? T minus V. <coughs> one half m y dot squared plus m g h oh m g y sorry m g it shouldn't be m g h it should be m g y right as y increases okay so how what will my differential equation look like d over d t what's my generalized coordinate guys Y dot, right? It's all Y's now. Partial L over partial Y equals minus BV. Because drag is opposite to all the directions that we have chosen, right? Drag is up and it opposes the motion. Okay, so what will be DL? Oh, I was planning on doing this tomorrow, but you know what? Let's just do it. So this will be just m y dot minus m g minus b v or m y double dot plus m g equals minus b v. Oh, yes, good catch. So I messed up. I put a minus sign here. That was my fault. I had a minus here. This is plus. And then this would just be. M A minus M G equals minus B V or A equals G minus B over M V. Where's what? B is the constant that we just put in here that describes what drag is. Yeah, it's, it, remember it was proportional. So I just put B there. And it all depends on the reason why we put B there is because that's what most people use for drag co coefficients. So that's your A. Can I find V? So this will be DV over DT equals G minus B over MV. DV equals G minus B over MV DT. Problem? The term with the V is on this side, so we have to move this one down. Oh, I should put this on an exam. That might be a fun thing. Integrate, integrate. From some V zero to some V, so some T zero to some T. What is this? It is to the power one. So the answer is always going to be a log, yay to the power one from some V zero to some V. If V zero is taken as zero, 
only under that situation will this be zero equals t and that means i can write this as log of g minus v over m v minus log of just g equals t so then this is log of g over b over m v divided by g using properties of log if two log terms are being subtracted we divide them equals t how do i get rid of logs i take it to the uh, oh wait hold on i'm missing something shouldn't this be divided by minus b over m minus b over m right that's when you integrate them so then i can take this to the other side what do i get this is minus b over m so i take it to the other side it'll be minus b over m how do i get rid of logs it's going to be g over b over m v over g equals e to the power minus b over mt yes that's how you get rid of logs that means I can write one minus B over M V equals E minus B over M T. Yes. Can I then write B over M V equals one minus E minus B over M T. So I move this to the other side. There's a minus sign here. This was a minus, this was a plus. If I move this, yes. So then that means I can, if I, then I get a minus here. So I then get V equal, oh, I'm missing a G somewhere. Yeah, oh, there's a G there, right? Here, there's a G missing. Cause this was G over G, right? Yeah. This was G over G that gave yeah. us the one. So I'm missing a G here. So then I'll get an mg over b one minus e to the minus b over mt. And this is called the terminal velocity. This is the fastest an object can go when it's falling down. That's why squirrels don't die because they reach terminal velocity very, very, very quickly in that at terminal velocity, objects stop accelerating. 